in this case we are using the rolling hills server and make sure you you enter the url now from the main domain web page click sign in now we're going to enter user credentials for simulation you can enter 4908 user must be a proctor between 1 and 50 there are 50 generic proctor accounts as well as coordinators administrators and teachers but in this case we're logging in as a proctor and then for proc for password we're going to type the word proctor all lowercase now click login oops sorry about that should be all lowercase as I said I believe I had my caps lock now from application management click testing sessions the registration session will give you undivided time with students to assist them in applying their responses on data collection screens and addressing any questions now proctors should have the data collection details document on hand for reference during registration or intake if you use the registration session data collection screens are skipped during an intake session and students begin testing after entering an ID so if you do not use the registration session students will complete the registration process during an intake session before they begin testing now filter testing sessions to minimize the list for examples for example click on the filter and we should search for um, it contains let's search for the North Campus and search for contains registration now click click your refresh button as the enter button will not do anything and retract the collect the filter so now you have a minimized list that the proctor will manage while registering students now to prepare for registration click the start to acknowledge responsibilities and duties select supervisory hours and then click start now the session activity window is displayed for the proctor to manage registration now the registration session also gives students the opportunity to practice and practice tests help now introduce students to the user interface the practice tests these help to introduce students to the user interface draw attention to the retractable toolbar and information displayed you can also prepare students for taking a pretest and give students experience with navigation and reviewing at the end of a test now giving students the opportunity to practice prior to taking their first test using CASA C test online is strongly recommended now, after the proctor signs into the management console and starts sessions then they go about the lab to prepare computers and students arrival now at the testing station launch the web browser okay, and enter um, the URL it's one that I'm pointing to now we are using the simulation server again for demonstration purposes and now from the main domain web page click administer test okay now connect with the online hosted server by clicking the run and download the test delivery system and secure browser application on the testing station okay there we go now the testing station displays the refresh button for test security as you may see now even though the testing station is connected to the online server a test will not be delivered until the proctor adds the station to an active session proctors add stations to active sessions on an ad hoc basis multiple sessions may run simultaneously and deliver tests according to the session description now this is recommended practice for test security and flexibility with web-based testing 
the proctor is now ready to, for registering students. Okay. To add a new student or to add new student records to your online database, we need to add the station. So we're going to return back to our session activity window and click Add Stations. At the bottom left on your session activity window, we will use and select our station assessment center and click add to the active session. Now at the testing station, we're going to click refresh to start the registration process. Now assign a unique identification code for the student and either enter it or have the student enter identification. So let me enter my student's identification code and then click continue. A new student will enter a first name. Middle name is optional, however, a middle name initial is recommended. And then the last name. Okay, now let's see. Hmm. All right. Now click the forward arrow at your bottom left to proceed. Now the next screen prompts the student to enter a zip code for a current place of residence and then click the forward arrow. Check female, male or female on the next screen and then click the forward arrow. Now enter the date of birth. Let's just select a random date here. Okay, and then you can direct the students to mark a leading zero for days less than 10. In this case, I'm selecting 22, but let's just say it's, she's from the 1st, April 1st. So let's just say, uh, direct them to enter a leading zero and mark 19 or 20 for birth years during the 1900s or 2000s. Okay. So it can't just say April, April 1, 11, or April 1, 78, or something. So it has to mark 19 or 20 and the pre preceding pre zero. Now this, I'm going to click forward for the next one. Now this screen prompts the student to check the number of years of formal schooling completed. Let's just say this person went through the 12th, and this may include schooling in the United States or abroad. So the student should also check the box if formal schooling uh, was completed outside of the United States, as you can see with this box. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I'm not gonna check it. Okay, now let's move forward. The screen prompts the student to check the highest credential or degree achieved and then check when schooling in the United States or abroad is included. So in this case, I'm just going to say uh, none. And if you on the previous screen had checked the schooling outside of the U.S., it, it doesn't matter. This highest school, highest diploma or degree can be earned on abroad as if, if you were receiving your education in the US but if you still earn your college or certificate abroad you can check this box and then click the forward arrow now the student is prompted to identify a native language this should be the prevalent language spoken in the home as a child now click the forward arrow now for ethnicity, the student should mark one to indicate the group with which they primarily identify. Okay. And for race, mark one or more according to the origins. You can say white. Okay, then click the forward arrow. Now the online system tracks students and outcomes for several types of programs. Now the student should be direct to mark one instructional program 
or of current or anticipated enrollment. Now this can be changed after determining appropriate placement after intake. Okay. Now personal status is an option is an optional screen. Now the student may mark all that apply or leave blank and continue. Okay. Now for labor force status is required and often tied to goals which are on the last screen. Now the student marks one for current status in the labor force. Okay. Now this may change during enrollment in a program at which time a student may update at time, a student may update at time for post-testing or updated information may be added to the student record in TOPS Pro Enterprise. And then click the forward arrow. Now primary and secondary goals should be selected for attainable goals within the current program year. Now we should mark one, the primary goal, which generally again aligns with the instructional program and Mark one secondary goal, which generally aligns with the student's current labor force status. Let's just say improve my English skills. Okay. And click the forward arrow. Now the review page displays after students complete data collection screens. Now to edit any information before saving, they may click on change. So let's just say we want to change the date of birth. Put it back to the original way and let's say I'm from 78. After changing information, students may navigate back by using the re, re, um, the left arrow, or you can go forward by using the forward arrow, or you can just click the review and return to the last screen and then click save to finish. Now saved information may also be updated by the student when post-testing. Now at top right of the testing screen, click the update student info link to review. Now the review page displays and the students may click change to edit saved information. All right, we're going to click cancel here. Yes. Now the test menu now displays giving the student an opportunity to practice with reading, math, and listening practices. Practice tests may be repeated multiple times in the same seating. Now responses are not scored or stored in the online database or system. Now the student should be direct to click log out at the top right when finished with registration and practice. Okay. Now the station is now ready for the next student. When registration is finished for the session, proctors should click the exit link at the top right of each testing station to close the testing application. Remember to also return to the management console and stop your session. Okay, now we're going to uh, go back to the session activity window and from, from here we will click on the manage button and stop our session. Since we are finished working in the eTest Management Console, click the back link at the top right of the Management Console screen and return to the main menu. Now we're going to also click Log Out link at the upper right corner of the screen. And now this returns you to the login screen. However, you are not completely disconnected from the server. Now for security, exit the application at the top left click the web browser back arrow. Now you are completely disconnected from the server and return to the main domain web page where you started. 